Hi friends, today for our warm up we are going to make an accordion zine. Wow, okay. So we're actually gonna make one longer than this. This was just a little example. Um, so what you need to start is you need uh, a fun colored sheet of paper. You don't necessarily have to have one, but I like to have um, this kind of thick uh, cardstock on hand um, and two identically sized um, other sheets of paper. Totally okay if they're printer paper, um, that's all right. You're gonna need a glue stick, um, some sort of cutting utensil, so I'm using an X-Acto knife, but you can also use uh, scissors if you need. Um, I'm using a bone folder, but again, you can use like the edge of anything, like your, your glue stick to make good creases, even your fingernail. Um, and then you need some things to draw with. I have some pencils and pens and a straight edge. Now I'm using a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So for the trick I'm gonna show you, I need a big straight edge. So that's what I have right now. Um, if you don't have that, that's totally fine. Um, I just wanna show you a trick. So I also have my uh, handy dandy sharpener and some headphones for drawing, all right? So get your materials, um, pause the video, do what you need to do, come back, get ready, cause we are going to make an accordion zine. All right, so you have two pieces of paper that are exactly the same size. The first piece of paper, I want you to fold into quarters like I've done here. Fold it hot dog style and then hamburger style so that you have the piece of paper folded into quarters, all right? Now all I want you to do is take this piece of paper and put it directly above this piece of paper so that the edges are aligning. Why are we doing this? We're trying to fold this piece of paper into thirds. Now you can totally fold a piece of paper into thirds just by kind of eyeballing it and doing this little fold where you then press it down. Um, but I just learned of a more exact way to do this and I wanted to share it with you. So you line them up like so and then keep this straight. And then um, I have this right here marked, this little dot. This is where um, the creases all meet in the center. Um, so I'm going to take that little dot, and this might not be perfectly exact, but whatever is in life. And I'm going to measure from this dot up here to the very, very corner, hopefully you can see it, maybe you can't, to the very corner of the bottom of my um, bottom page, all right? So these are lined up and then it's measured all the way to this corner. Now, because math, because geometry, this little intersection right here is exactly a third of this piece of paper, all right? I'm not gonna explain the math to you because I don't know if I completely understand it at this moment and I, uh, I don't remember all that triangle stuff, but I learned this handy trick and I learned by doing, so let's, let's, let's just do it. Again, I'm doing the thing where I line it up from um, that little dot that I made all the way to the edge, the corner of this um, page. And then right where these intersect, I'm gonna make a little dash, all right? So these little dashes now are where I'm going to fold my paper. Right, and so then we will have the page folded into thirds. So I'm gonna do it this way so I can see exactly where my dash is. Um, another thing that you can do is with your bone folder, make like a little crease right there. You can measure it. I mean, that's another thing definitely that people can do is, is measure. But if ever I don't have to get out a calculator, I, I think that's a win for my day. All right. And then this one. And this one's a little bit easier because you can see exactly where the edge of your paper is. And so you can just line it up so that it is as exact as possible. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? So I folded my page, boom, into perfect thirds. Wow, math works, math is amazing. All right, so you have it folded into thirds. I'm bending it both ways just so that we can make the um, sheet a little bit more pliable and sit a little bit flatter when it's down. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we have one sheet of paper as this like brochure accordion. Again, not exactly what we want. We actually want it to be longer and smaller. So we're going to cut it exactly in half. So what I'm going to do is now I'm gonna fold my page in half. Again, you don't really have to do this. You could just make marks um, where 
the very center is and then cut it but I like to have a crease mark at most times just because I feel like it gives me a good indication of like how how to cut how straight everything is all right oh yes I have a beautiful crease in the middle now beautiful beautiful crease I'm turning it over to this like um, folded outside where the fibers are kind of squishing out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the piece of paper right down the center right down this little meridian all right um, lining it up unsheathing the blade and now here's the thing about exacto knives you actually don't want to press really hard an exacto knife you actually want to press very lightly and bring it through multiple times and then that way you're slowly cutting the fibers of the paper without pressing hard and causing runs in your paper Sometimes it results in things being a little bit off, but that's okay. We can deal with that. I'll clean that up later. All right, beautiful. All right, so now we have two wonderful sheets of paper that are both folded into thirds. Wow. So now what we wanna do, and this is kind of an interesting angle to show you, is we want our zigzag accordion zine um, to kind of go like this actually, right? Now, um, how are we going to join these two pieces of paper? That's where glue comes in. Uh, there, You could also maybe um, just tape it if you want to, um, but I prefer, again, like using glue. So I'm gonna start by taking this little zigzag and this little zigzag and then zigzag them together right in that very middle piece of paper. Now you have one very long sheet of paper. Amazing. And then we can fold it back. So I like accordion zines in which, see this one's not exactly perfect, but you know what? It's fine. Um, I like those accordion zines where you start by opening the first page like you would open a book and then you can continue to open them like so, and then you get to the last page. Um, again, I could, I could continue to make this even longer and longer, but I think that for the purpose of a quick warm-up zine, this is a fantastic length. All right, so this is going to be our cover, and then we are going to start drawing on this page as the interior of our page. All right, so this is going to be the interior of our zine, and I'm going to use it like a long canvas right now, okay? All right, now we're gonna go on to part two, what to put in our zine, all right? So what I want us to do is I want you to um, create a very long line of characters. So what's cool about accordion zines is you're given this exact specific format, right? This, this form that you can then turn into a narrative, but it would be nice if the narrative uh, complements the form. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna start by creating a long line of characters. And at the very end, I want you to create a door or a portal or something that they're all waiting to go into. Don't give any indication as to what's beyond the portal, all right? Or the door or whatever they're waiting for. First, let's just make those characters and then make that door. I'm gonna put my headphones in and we're gonna do some drawing and then, yeah, we're gonna see what happens, okay? Cool.
so that took a little while, but for you guys, it was probably really fast. And now I have this long line of wonderful characters um, going towards a door. And so what happens is when this is all folded up, you open it up and you start to see the characters literally unfold. So if you go page by page, you see more and more of them until you get to the end. And then if you see them all together, it has this nice dimensional feel, all right? So you've created this long line of characters. Some of them might be silly like mine. Some of them might be uh, more serious. And so now what I want you to do is w I want you to figure out what they're saying. So make them have conversations and maybe it's in relationship to what is behind the door. Um, maybe some of them know what's behind the door. Some of them don't know what's behind the door. You can have them be reliable or unreliable narrators. Maybe they're just talking about you know, overheards that you've heard uh, recently. So again, I'm going to um, really quickly go through and give them all dialogue really quickly. All right, cool. Okay, so I added some dialogue. Um, one important thing that I didn't mention before is that you actually don't want your dialogue to um, go over any of these creases because then um, it'll ruin the effect as you're opening each page. You kind of want each page to still uh, work as a spread and as a, their own individual panels. And so it's hard to do that um, when they go over uh, the, the creases. However, you can have things like um, the dialogue lines, the speech bubble lines and the bubbles um, be uh, divided between the creases. It's sometimes interesting because you know that she's thinking something and you don't realize what she's thinking until you turn the page. So this is what I have. Um, I never said what's behind the door, um, but I will now. It's the name of my Animal Crossing town. <laughs> um, it's a, truly a wonderful place and everybody wants to get in. All right, so now we have this wonderful zine. Isn't that great? Um, something that I like to do is I like to give it um, a cover that feels a little bit different. Um, and you can do that by adding uh, a sheet of paper to the front and gluing it and then giving it a little cover. So I'm going to quickly do that. Okay. All right. So I could decorate this more, but for right now, it's just going to be called worth the wait. And then we have our accordion zine. Again, you can like do more and keep it going. Um, you can also do uh, work on the back. Sometimes it's nice to add like um, another long illustration on the back. You could even have the um, story start here, worth the wait. And maybe the line keeps going and the line goes around the block, right? And then it ends you know, on this page right here. So um, either way you want to do it, that is our warm up for today. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.